bim bam boom, here we go again, busting all kinds of myths in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Today we will look at all kinds of things. For example, can you jump on water? Can Yoshi eat the power-up balloons? And can an Armad kill a pokey? Well, let's find out. Number 15. In a previous video, we looked at what the limits are of the power-up balloon seen in the game. But in the end, I forgot about one thing according to people in the comments. Because this commenter said, if you summon a power-up and then die, it will still be there for you to collect. Now, when I heard this, I was a bit skeptical. Because you would imagine that it goes back into your inventory bubble. So I had to test this one. First, I got the flag so I would respawn there. Then I took out the balloon. And last but not least, I jumped down this pit. Now to my surprise, when I spawned in again, the balloon was still there and I could just grab it. So yeah, this claim is actually true. Number 14. The best thing about Wonder is the fact that Nintendo added so many new types of levels that weren't the thing in the older new Super Mario Bros titles, like the Wiggler races. I personally love those, but someone in the comment section had a question about the first race that I couldn't really answer. Charge Up Gaming said, In the first Wiggler race at the section where Wiggler turns around due to some sort of basket, will he just run through if you break it before he arrives? Well, I had never attempted this. I mean, I never really broke that thing. Instead, I parkoured around it just like Wiggler does. So I got a Drill Mushroom, equipped the Jet Run badge, and tried it. And as you can see, when the obstacle is gone, Wiggler will just run through. Clearly, he is more flexible than most would think. He isn't some rigid bot that will just follow a set script, which is fascinating to say the least. Number 13. Like I mentioned about two videos ago, people always become obsessed with one thing when it comes to these myth-busting videos. And this time, it's the Drill Mushroom. So of course, we have another claim involving it to cover in this video. Real Riggy said, you can drill into the boost pads seen in the final boss fight of the game. But, knowing this game, I was certain that that wasn't gonna work. So I grabbed the Drill Mushroom and tried it. And yeah, as you can see, this didn't work at all. The floor is too hard to drill into, which you can actually see in some other places as well. So yeah, Riggy, this claim is false. Number 12. Another thing that people are fascinated by is the credits of this game, which I kind of get. I mean, it is an actual level, which is almost never the case in a Super Mario game. But now people are asking questions and making claims. For example, Lauren said that you can actually die in the credits. But as far as I know, that's just impossible. So I went there and did my best to get killed. I was crushed by enemies, ran into foes to take damage, and so much more. And while I did lose stars due to to it, I never died or lost my Super Mushroom power-up. So yeah, as far as I can see, this claim is just false. Number 11. Another myth, another Drill Mushroom claim. You know how it goes, folks. Everyone wants to know what the limits are of this power-up. This time, Kenny asked me if he can kill a bull rush with a Drill Mushroom. So I gave it a shot. And to my surprise, if you go underneath it and surface, the attack will instantly kill the bull rush, even though it is quite a tough enemy. So yeah, Kenny, you can actually do that. Which shows the true might of this little mushroom. Number 10. Nintendo loves to make enemies that are important for the platforming seen in the games. In older titles, they did this a ton. And now, it's also a thing in Wonder. A good example is the Bloom. But Kimberly claimed that when this enemy is inflating, he can't deflate it. So I went to a level where you can encounter them, and jumped on top to see if this was true. And as you can see, it's a thing. But then I tried something different. What would happen if I jumped into them from below? Well, at first, absolutely nothing. But then I saw that they sometimes explode, so you can kill them in this fragile state. So I guess I would label this claim as plausible, because you can kill them. Number 9. 
In older 2D Mario games, you had all kinds of crazy abilities, and over time, Mario lost a lot of these. We saw this in the 3D titles as well, until Super Mario Odyssey changed it all. But how is the situation in Wonder? Because this commenter asked me, can you break the flip blocks using the spin jump in this game? Well, I tried it, and as you can see, it's not a thing in this title, even though it was in Super Mario World. So clearly, you don't have as many options as in the past. Which means that this one is false. Number 8 now this next one is quite simple and straightforward. It's a small detail found in one of the worlds. Because according to this person, the music on the ground and on the castle of the map is different in the sun-baked desert. So I recorded me standing on the sand and on the steps of the castle section of this world. And if you listen closely, you can hear the difference. So yeah, this claim is true, and personally, I never noticed this. Number 7 now this next question I got from the comments was a really good one. It allowed me to do some really fun experimenting. Kippa Yo-Yo asked me, Can Yoshi eat the acorns that get faster when deflected by a character with the elephant power-up? And if he can, are the ones that he spits out the exact same in terms of color and speed? Well this is a really good question. Normally when this enemy known as the Skedaddler shoots nuts at you, you can deflect them when you're in the elephant form. And if you do this, the enemy will start shooting darker nuts that go faster and faster. So yeah, what happens? Well, I created this setup. As you can see, I can hit the nuts, but if I do nothing, they will reach Yoshi in the back, allowing him to eat them. And as you can see, Yoshi shoots the exact same ones back. And if you don't watch out, you can even damage your friends. Although it's not an insta-kill. Personally, I think this is pretty neat. And they must be amazing when taking on certain enemies. Number 6. Badges are quite overpowered. You can really cheat with them. They make levels easier or allow you to go for a new approach. Heck, some even make the game a lot harder. That's what the expert badges are mostly for. And so we experimented with them a lot. And Eren claimed that you can climb walls using the parachute badge. All you have to do is wall jump, pull out the cap, and go towards the wall again. This way you can climb higher and higher. Which sounded a bit convoluted, but hey, I tried it anyway. And as you can see, it does work. Sure, it's not very fast, but he never claimed that. So it's true. If you ever want to scale a wall, this is the way. But personally, I think you Using the grappling vine is a better approach. It's a whole lot faster after all. Number 5 now Wonder is famous for a lot of things, but one that stands out is the musical levels. Because man oh man those are popular. I mean, I look into data like that to decide what videos to make, and a lot of people are searching for that stuff. But apparently you can also prevent it from happening in a level. Well, sort of. Because Dylan claimed that if you stand on the pipes that the singing piranha plants come out of, they won't appear at all. So I stood on one after grabbing the Wonder Flower to see what would happen. And as you can see, the piranha plant never came out of the pipe. Personally, I expected it to still pop out and just damage you. I mean, that's what happens in older Super Mario titles with the piranha plants. So Dylan's claim is true. Number four. We have seen Yoshi eat a lot of things in these videos, and sometimes you don't even expect it to work. And so a lot of people want me to experiment with his eating ability. And today this commenter asked me, can Yoshi eat the power-up balloon? I mean, we have seen that he can eat stuff like the bubble flower, so what about this thing? Well, I attempted to do it, and no, it's not possible. The tongue just goes right through it. So yeah, it doesn't work sadly enough, which makes sense, because man oh man, you you could annoy the hell out of your friends if you could. Just steal the power up right before their eyes and spit it out into a pit. That way, no one will have it. But luckily enough, that isn't possible. Number 3 
Now this next myth is not really new. We have actually tested it before, but due to popular demand, we are going to look at it again. A lot of people claim that you can actually jump on water, and apparently I just did it wrong in a previous video. So I decided to try it again, after perfecting my technique. The trick is to crouch when you jump, and jump as soon as you hit the water. Now I was able to do it, but I still struggled with it, and failed 9 out of 10 times. And even when it worked, it wasn't super useful. In the end, the short from Infinite Bits was really handy for pulling it off, and the footage you're looking at right now is from him. So special thanks to Infinite Bits. And yeah, I was wrong about this stuff. It is possible. Number 2. Usually when you go through a level, it's Mario and his friends that kill enemies they encounter. But can some enemies kill other enemies? Because Bloody Fox asked me, can an Armad kill a Pokey by itself? Because normally you can throw them at foes to take them out. But what happens when this enemy jumps into someone? Well, I got one of them, set it up in such a way that it would jump at me, but it would hit the Pokey instead. And as you can see, it does actually deal damage. So you can set it up in such a way that they kill each other, which is pretty cool. It was always a thing in games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but apparently you can do it in Super Mario as well. Number 1 one of my favorite expert badges in the game is the Jet Run, because it can be really handy in some levels, but not every time. You're quite fast and always run, no matter what, which can be difficult to deal with. However, it also has some weird powers. For example, if you run off an edge, you will walk in the air for a bit, but according to Life is Handle and, you can run on water using this badge. However, I had never seen this, so I went into a level and tried to run on water, but no matter what I did, I couldn't pull it off. He would just run into the water at full force. So yeah, as far as I can see, this isn't possible. Even though I tried it with multiple bodies of water. So yeah, I would say that this claim is false. It could be that people confused it with the ability of being able to run in the air for a bit when you run off an edge. In some instances, it could make it look like you're running on water, but in reality, you aren't. Now those were all the myths I wanted to cover, but be sure to leave your ideas below because you might get featured in a video. And don't forget, I got more videos like this, so check them out! And be sure to like and subscribe, it really helps.